This is the PixInsight process tutorial for the assisted color calibration process. You can find this process in process, color calibration, here it is. Before we start, just a question. Do you like irony and you like being totally underwhelmed? If you like both, this is just the perfect process for you. And just to be fair, if you are here to see if this process is any good, if you could use it, then the answer is no, totally no. So you might actually leave, look at another video, and I'm absolutely okay with that. But if you're curious how bad a PixInsight process can be, let's continue. The irony is that even it's called assisted color calibration, it's exactly the opposite. It's the only color calibration process which you are totally not assist, but you should actually do everything alone. So you have to take an unstretched picture. And so the next step is you have to do two previews. So we do that now. The first preview has to be a part where the color is in that you want to calibrate. So we take here this part of the nebula. And then you have to do another preview of the background. So we have here a nice little preview where there are no stars in it, so we take that. Okay, with that we go to preview number one. We actually remove the stretch from here. Now here in the background reference we select the second preview with the background. So the interesting part is that we have this preview to have a preview. Usually you would have here this red button, you can press and you have a live preview. No, 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 you don't have that here. So we have now to do out of whatever reason, a stretch, histogram transformation. And obviously it will not work because it's very much here in the lower part doing it with the labors. So you have to do it with the numbers. So in a lot of trial and error, I figured out what I had to take here. So it's two six for the midtones. It's 008. And with that, let's execute that. And only now we're actually seeing the preview. So it took me about 20 times of execution until I finally was here. So now we have a preview. Then they say we should actually move up the saturation so that we actually see nicely the colors that we have in. And now comes the funny part. What they expect us now is without a live preview to actually change here the colors. Hmm, this could be a little... This could have a little bit too much green in it, perhaps a little bit too much blue. And now you execute it again, you check, and you do that unassisted until you're happy with it. And I have no clue how this should work. And now once you're actually happy, you would go to your main picture and then apply that. This is absolutely absurd. There's no live preview, whatever there is none, any other process has it. It must be an extremely old process. And again, the question, why is it still in here? Or why is it not updated? But like it is right now, just, just forget about it. So I'm really sorry that I wasted your time. I hope next time I can show you something that's really of value. See you next time. Clear skies.